G'day, Stephen Gary from NothingGridKnowledge.com again. Part 2 of solar, how much does it cost? Yeah, I'm sitting in the office. I've got an appropriate track playing in the background, Pink Floyd Money. On screen, that's because we're going all high tech now. We have a nice little simple solar setup. This is for people who aren't familiar. You have my panel, you have your little solar controller. You got the wires from your panel into your controller, puts the charge into the controller from the panel, down to the two batteries. The controller also has the outlet wires to the batteries, and then over the other side there, you have the outlet wires to power your appliances. This particular image is actually 24 volt. The same sort of setup can be done in 12 volt. That just means you haven't got a 24 volt panel you've got a 12 volt panel and you've only got one 12 volt battery or a couple of 12 volt batteries hooked in series now this sort of system that you're staring at on screen at 24 volts with maybe two panels that controller and two batteries you probably buy for about somewhere between a thousand bargain basement to fifteen hundred bucks not too much money now I'm going to flick through a couple other pictures as I shake the camera. I know, high tech or what, eh? No, you don't want to see that one yet. That's the painful one. Got a better picture here. Simple. Battery down there. Controller at the top. Panel over there. The controller is where all your wires come from. It's not rocket scientry. The simplest diagram can actually explain this. This one has a little inverter. So it's actually taking the power from the controller. The controller is putting out 12 volt. 12 volts going into the inverter, a little cheap inverter. And that's powering the ye old fan. And that guy there is trying to electrocute himself with a screwdriver, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, that's a very simple system. What you've got there with the inverter is again, probably rounded up one battery, 12 volt, one panel, small controller. Probably about 1200 bucks. Not such a big deal. So as I flash back through it, we did that one. Now actually that's a 12 volt one. That's a flasher inverter. Same sort of drill though. Panel takes the power, pushes it over into the controller. The controller has all the outlet connections. Down to a battery. The battery puts out 12 volt. 12 volt goes into the inverter from there you plug your fan your fridge your microwave well maybe not a microwave on a little system like this but your computer your laptop whatever all comes from that simple little setup again with that simple little inverter there probably about the 1500 bark mark not too bad at all pretty easy to set up doesn't take a bloody genius then you got bigger ones like this fella here once you get into systems that are about that big, multiple panels, multiple batteries, what happens with solar is it exponentially gets dearer. One battery costs 200 bucks, six batteries cost 1200 bucks. One panel costs $200, six panels cost 1200 bucks. The inverter, that little fella there, as you go up in charge input and power output, Inverters get more expensive. So take note of that before you start wondering about how much you can afford. Every time you add a few watts, that's the watts on the panels, or add a few batteries for storage, you have to upgrade the inverter as well. Everything goes up and it gets a bit dearer. Now I'm going to keep this relatively short. Uh, here's a picture of a grid connect. We won't worry about grid connect. Grid Connect is something else, that's where you don't have a battery bank, it just goes straight into the grid. You may or may not be interested in that, we won't worry about that. This is the big, this is the big cruncher. Once you go up in, in size, up in scale, you wind up with big battery banks like this. The battery bank new will run you, yeah, look, you know, depending on which battery, which type, which brand, where from, probably run you about three grand to five grand maybe six grand if you go lithium iron could even be a little bit more thousand amp hours that one is you can round them up second hand which isn't such a bad thing that is a two volt used system two volt meaning each cell is two volt 
24 of them, uh, sorry, 12 of them, which gives 24 volts. As you go up in voltage, everything multiplies as well. Another thing for the newbies. 12 volt is one thing, 24 volts another, 48 volts another. Every time you do that math, the cost will accordingly, if you go from 12 to 24, pretty much you're going to double your cost. 24 to 48, you're pretty much going to double your cost. All right, that's pretty simple. Then you get into this sort of caper. Once you go up into a bigger system, you need a control board with equipment. Could be Outback, could be, this is Victron. Lots of good equipment. That's only a three kilowatt control board. It will cost you about four and a half thousand bucks for that. Pre-assembled, you can buy them pre-assembled. But the, the point here is, once you get up into the, the, the you know, three kilowatt, four kilowatt, whatever, once you leave the small 12 volt systems, once you leave the small 24 volt systems, you get into this stuff and the price goes up accordingly. All right? So this is just a quick rundown. Small systems don't cost much if you need to refresh. Just run the video over again. It's only a five minute video. Small systems don't cost. 12 volt is cheap. 24 volt you can do. All low cost components you might spend within you know, 1500 bucks to two and a half grand, you'll get a nice little system that will power your laptop, your phone, probably power your fridge. During daylight hours, even a one kilowatt system will probably power your fridge. Nighttime is another, another exercise. That's where the batteries come into it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Cheers to Stephen Kerry. Just a quick glance, five or six minutes on how much does solar cost? We'll catch you on the next one. Subscribe and like if you want, or not. Oh, I got Pink Floyd still playing in the background. Beautiful day. Central Victoria, we're still pushing 34 degrees. Ouch, bar. Not good, not good. Went out, did a bit, of work, a bit of work this morning, and actually sweated still in March. Never mind. How much will your solar cost? How much can you live with? How much can you live without? Big question. We'll cover more in other short videos. Cheers from Stephen Carey from MultigridNoz.com. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye.